How can technology used to detect missiles be used to detect the deadliest form of skin cancer? After their work on the Star Wars defense program of the 1980s, some of the nation's most brilliant minds turned their eyes from the sky to a threat much closer. Melafine has no equivalence in the world. The Melafine actually started in space. With Melafine, the problem is that the targets of interest, namely melanomas, come in various different guises. And military targets usually tend to be of limited variety. This actually is rocket science. Certainly had doubts, but the idea is we have a can-do spirit. I would say projects we worked for military applications were much easier. A team of leading dermatologists, including Dr. Alfred Koff, realized that their method for detecting melanoma needed improvement. So they came to this group of scientists with an important challenge. Dr. Koff basically said to the founders here, I and my associates, Daryl Regal and Bob Friedman, came up with the ABCDs of melanoma. And yet the three of us don't agree. Dermatologists are currently only using their naked eye to examine lesions. They were having difficulty with this challenging problem of recognition of melanoma. We can look at smaller features than the neuroscopy, for example, and we can look at them with, with higher accuracy much better than, than anybody else. Rising to the challenge, these scientists were able to create a truly innovative device with the potential to save more lives than previously possible. With Melafind, they're able to see underneath the skin, non-invasively, painlessly, and in a 100% objective way, and it's cutting-edge technology. In retrospect, we should have been afraid to handle it, but uh, we weren't. I'm not saying it was easy, but it was, we were comfortable with it and we were prepared to work on it. To really convince me and what made me fall in love with this uh, project and this place is really that humanistic approach and enthusiasm of the founders of the company and the specific project they chose to deal with. I like the idea of doing something that actually is helpful to people. Throughout my time uh, with the company, I sometimes ask myself, why am I still here? Why do I keep working on this particular problem year after year? It all paid off when I received that phone call. I got a call from one of the very first users. And we heard in one case some person was thinking about not biopsying, yet it did biopsy, and it turned out to be a melanoma. And to learn that the uh, uh, top dermatologist would miss a melanoma and uh, it wasn't missed because Melafind recommended biopsy. I called Dina up and I told her the story and I had a tear in my eye when I said it. And I said, Dina, uh, everything that you hoped for and envisioned just happened. This was personally for me the most rewarding moment. This is the time when I stopped and uh, I said to myself, yep, it was well worth it. <laughs>